Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is episode 30 of our Transport Fever 2 Let's Play. If you guys are new to the series, definitely check out some of the older videos. Leave a like and a comment, let me know how I'm doing. And subscribe to stay up to date on this series as well as others. We'll go through a quick recap of episode 29 and we'll get into the video. All right, so we are just starting out here in Norton, taking a look at the couplet that we made at the end of the last episode. So essentially what we've got going on here is we've got one-way roads mirroring one another with some crossings in between. Um, we went through and made sure to lock all of these because we don't want them, or all but all but that one. We don't want them to uh, you know, be updating these, these one-ways. Um, and essentially how this functions is the same way that like a four way, a four lane normal road would. Um, the reason that I did this one, I think it's interesting. I'm kind of curious to see if it will work in transport fever. I've never tried it before, but it also has a nice connection into our highway, which we also built at the very end of the last episode running between Norton and Yately. So this is a huge improvement that should carry much more traffic a lot faster. Um, we created this interchange here to connect Norton directly to the airport. We established a uh, bus route specifically for that purpose, heading into Norton. Um, and then we made sure that all of our lines along this highway are now working. They all route through this uh, roundabout here, down the main road into Yately, and then they go to their various locations. Some of the other stuff that we did in the last episode was we reworked the Yately and the Twickenham airports. If we come over to Twickenham, you'll see we added in the larger airports um, and we left a nice amount of space so that we can get more um, hangars or not hangars, more terminals in here. So currently we have two lines flying into Twickenham, um, one from Yately and then one from Reading because we actually went all the way over to Reading and we added in an airport here in Reading. Just kind of, you know, kind of out of town, pretty straight shot into town, into the one of the main, you know, roads through town, um, which is good. Let's see. Yeah, we got 11 out of 15, which I think is really good. We got the, what are these, the Douglas DC-4s on the Reading route. And then we unlocked in last episode for the Yately route, we have the Concord or the Lockheed Super Constellation, uh, which are really interesting. And I like that we have two different kinds of planes. You know, I think it's pretty realistic. Maybe they're two, two different airlines entirely. Um, who knows? But that is working really well. Um, and then, yeah, the highway from Yately to Norton. So that is our recap complete. Um, I appreciate the comments. Uh, Tom Jones, as always. Great comments, getting me to redo these airports. I hadn't realized that we had the new ones, so I appreciate it. But let's go ahead and get into this episode. We are going to be heading up to Hythe, and we are going to be doing more highway work to start out. So if we go into our layers here, and we go to our destinations, and we come down here, you'll see that we have a pretty fair amount of traffic. I guess you can kind of see it. Um, but this will only get worse as the speeds of the vehicles. I'm just going to do a light smoothing out through here. I think I've kind of started to like the the lightly smoothed out look a little bit more than the than the sharp look. Like in here, this is kind of sharp. So just a little light, just like one click and I think it just makes it look just a little bit a little bit better and then one thing that's happening in here and I can't fix this I genuinely can't I've tried because if I delete these houses they just spawn right back but uh, that seems like a pretty precarious place to live if you ask me but I, I have nothing I can, there's nothing I can do about it I've tried to fix it but anyway Back to the traffic. So you'll kind of see what we got going on here. We got these slow trucks. Now, granted, these are not our most up-to-date buses. We could get better ones, but they're essentially holding up the passenger cars. And this will only get worse as the speed of the passenger vehicles and the demand to travel increases. 
um, it will it will only continue to get worse. And I I don't know who thought that this is a good look, uh, but whoever it was is crazy. I don't know I don't know who's been playing this game in my absence, but uh, yeah, that was I don't know who did that. That's not a good look. So we're just gonna I think that that looks much better. Again, just one click of that smooth, I think makes it look much better. Anyway, we are gonna redo this connection into Twickenham with some highway, some double lane highway. I think it's gonna it's gonna function a lot better in the short term by giving bus lanes to these buses. Um, but even long term, as the traffic load increases on this road, it's gonna be much more effective. Um, now, one thing that we should probably do we're going to have to deal with that. I don't really want to move it. I kind of think that, you know what? This depot is here and it's here to stay. So it has earned its place. So what we're going to do, we're going to build a small interchange here so that this highway can loop around. And then this portion will likely head down to Carshalton, I think. Or do I want to just back this off entirely? No, yeah, I think this, this one will head down to Carshelton. Um, and then this branch will kind of head off to Twickenham. I think that'll work. Although we do have... There is some traffic heading into Carshelton between Twickenham. Let's take a look. Yeah, 23. It's not horrible. Um, it's not great either. Yeah, I think we're just gonna we're gonna make an interchange here, and we'll, we'll kind of branch off towards towards Twickenham. Uh, we're gonna need to figure out how to cross this rail. Uh, we do not want to do an at, at grade crossing with a with a highway, um, and then we're gonna have to kind of snake our way through here. Probably make some sort of interchange to service this uh, this coal mine. Whether it will be serviced by truck or not, uh, you guys know that I like to have road connection to all of my industries. And then we'll make our way into Twickenham, likely using this same route here into town. Um, now, whether that is a horrible connection right there. Whether we will do double lane across the river or merge it up and then do single lane across the river, I'm not sure. And then do we want this highway to continue anywhere else? No, I don't really think so. I think it's going to, I think this branch is going to terminate in Twickenham, which is actually a good thing. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to work with Twickenham. You know, potentially we could, we could terminate it like we did in Yately with a, with a rotary or a roundabout or a traffic circle, wherever you're from, whatever you guys call it. I am from New England. We call them rotaries and that is the correct term. Let me know in the comments what you guys call a rotary or a traffic circle, whatever it is. Anyway, let's get to it. So let's start by working on this, this branch off here. And this should be a very simple task. So let's come through here. Let's get our, uh, yeah, we want two lane, right? Or do I just want one lane? Let's see. Let's go over here and let's kind of see what we did here. Oh yeah, this is a, this is a mess because we need essentially both directions going in both directions. Okay, so we need two lane one way. And let's get this up in the air. Let's get our nice bridge. And is that the one that I want? Yeah, because it's going to branch off like that. Let's make this nice and curved. I think we can... can branch off there. Flat. And then we can start... start to curve up here. Let's kind of get a little bird's eye view. So that we can see it. Do not need to go that high. Maybe do about there. And then let's make this connection in here. And 
And that's actually pretty smooth. I like that a lot. Um, now we are going to need to adjust this road here. And we will come back to that. So let's just back that whole thing out. And we can kind of see, you know, maybe I could actually fit like a frontage road in here. Like that. And then we could kind of curve it up here. Connect that up. Connect that into there. Okay, so now let's go back to our one way. And let's kind of see where we want to go. Let's make that fill. Yeah, and I kind of like where that's going. Okay, so that will be our one way coming off here. Um, and now we will need similarly a one way coming off here. Ooh, and that frontage road is actually going to be a problem. Yeah. I wonder, could I connect that up? Yeah, I guess I could connect it over there. Who does it belong to? Uh, it belongs to Hive. See, that belongs to Sandown, which means that the workers are coming from Sandown. Again, this is completely made up in my head. This, this is not a real, this is not a real game mechanic. So, so please don't, uh, you know, don't tell me that this is, that I'm, this is not a real game mechanic. I, I fully understand that this is not a real game mechanic. Uh, who does this belong to? Sandown? Yeah, that's already connected with the highway. Hmm. Yeah, I don't really know how I could make that work. Anyway, let's uh, let's get this functional before we start messing with. Let's see, I want this to come off. No, I don't. Okay, so if you're on the highway and you want to go that way, cool. If you want to go straight ahead, cool. If you're coming down here and you want to go that way, that is going to be a simple merge off of here. Let me see. I need to go back over to this, this intersection. My brain is just not functioning right now. Yeah. So I'll use the, I'll use the one way for that. So let's come back over here and let's grab this one way like that bend that around connect that in there yep I like that Okay, so now you can, we've got both directions going there. And now this road that's coming in, uh, the simple merge will be if they want to go that way. The harder one will be if they want to go over here. And this is where we did um, the tunnel on the last one. So let's just get a little piece of straight road so that we can start to curve. kind of branch it off so that we can get enough space for the tunnel and then let's connect that up here so now let's see if I gave myself enough space for the tunnel so if I bring that over here and I bring it down let's just bring it up to where it will allow me and let's see. How does that look? It's pretty steep. I'm going to build it, um, and then we're going to come back and we're going to adjust it. So 
Let's bring that off. And let's bring this merge back a little bit. And let's see if I can get just a little bit smoother. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I actually have a newborn. Um, for those of you who've been watching the channel for a while, you probably know that. I've mentioned it before, but uh, I don't know if you guys just heard of me. Uh, gave it a little cry. He's, taking, he's, he's asleep right now. Anyway, back to this. So I like this tunnel entrance. That's, that's smooth enough for my liking. This one, let's back that out. Let's see if we can kind of stretch it a little bit more. Just get a little bit smoother. And then we can go ahead and connect that in. Okay, so now all of our movements, let's check. So if we're coming down this way from Twickenham, and you want to go up towards Sandown, you can. If you're coming down and you want to go into Hythe, you can. If you're coming from Hythe and you want to go to Twickenham, easy. And if you're coming from Hythe and you want to go to Sandown, yeah, you just carry on. Perfect. So let's just kind of smooth that out a little bit, make it look nice. Okay, and now we are good to continue with our highway. Now, how are we going to cross this rail line? Um, probably bridge. Probably. I think, I think we really have no option other than to bridge. So I go four up, and then I just bring it down just one notch. Let's kind of see where this is going to line up. So if we're coming like here... I want to make this like the shortest bridge, se bridge segment that we can. Floating bridge. Perfect. Then let's bring it back. Perfect. Two floating bridges. And now if I grab this, I want to say that if we connect that up into there... Just make it nice and smooth. Yep. Doesn't look uh, doesn't look horrible. Make that fill. And just try and mirror the, the slope a little bit. Okay. And now, how are we going to do this? So this, I think we're going to make a little edit here, and we're going to bridge the rail right here um and instead of you know us thinking that we're bridging a rail for a road which likely would not occur in my in my imagination i, I don't think that they would prioritize a road over a, a rail although they might i mean you have to imagine that like if this is a if this is a large highway project it's probably got federal funding but anyway um Let's bring this back down to the ground. So that's going to be fill. And then I'll just bring a little straight segment there so that I can get a... a little straight segment coming back. And then I should be able to connect that up, make that fill. Okay, nice. Anyway, what I was saying about the uh, about the rail. Instead of imagining that we are, you know, bridging... That's a pretty, uh, pretty aggressive difference right there. Let's see if I grab this. No, it's going to be backwards. That's okay. We can flip it around. So if I grab this and kind of bring it to right about there. Okay. And now if we smooth it out. Yeah, that looks much better. Anyway, uh, instead of imagining that we are bridging the rail, imagine that we are tunneling. I just prefer the look of the bridge, if that makes sense. Um... 
So the way that we're going to do that, let's pause real quick because we're going to break this, is we're going to come in here and we're going to just drop that terrain just a little bit. And then we're going to come through here with a rail bridge. Let's see, let's do maybe like a green. I like that. And then I just want enough of this bridged to get a road through here. So if we grab our roads, And let's see. Yeah, that's gonna have to, there's gonna have to be an interchange somewhere, probably here. Or do I want it on this side? Yeah, probably over here so that we can get the connection in to the city. And then how they're gonna get back to there, ooh, not sure. Uh, we will get there, but let's, for now, let's back that road out. All right, so let's come in here. Let's bring our roads down. And then we're gonna bring them through. And it wants to do, let's see if I can, can I bring this back up? Is that still high enough that it wants to bridge? Yes, it is. Okay, so let's get this back in. And now let's grab our road here. And if we just kinda snake it through there, just a little bit. I just want it to snap. So that I can get a little straight road there. And then I can drag this up here. Like that. Let's add that in and then let's make this connection. Little, little deviation there, but that's okay. Um, and now let's back both of these out so that we can hopefully get a little bit smoother. A little bit smoother coming through there. Let's spin that one around. Oh no. All right, let's, oh shoot. Well, that was not, uh, that was not what I intended. Let's smooth that back out, smooth that. And let's delete this bridge. And then let's see if I can... All right, so there's a collision. Understood. Let's get that in there. And then I want to branch a little rail off of there so that I can delete that. Add that in, make it fill. I'm essentially just trying to shorten this bridge to as narrow as it can be. And unfortunately I lost a pillar there, which I don't love. That looks better. Hmm. 
Okay, so that looks better. Let's go into our paint tools. Let's get some grass in here. And then we'll come through here with our nice darker grasses. Just kind of clean it up a little bit. There we go. I think that that looks nice through there. So we are through, we are through the rail, um, but now we need to figure out how we are going to make this connection back to the uh, oil well, and then how we are going to make a connection actually from Hive on this side of the city. Because it wouldn't make sense to make people drive over here, merge onto this highway, and then switch over to come past the city again to then get down to Twickenham. So we want an interchange here on this side of the rail, and then we want a little interchange right here, probably similar to this one over here just to be able to get over to the uh, to the oil well. So let's do that one first. So let's get, and let's see, all this needs to be able to do, because did I do like every direction in here? I did, oh, but I can use, yes, 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 okay. All right, so we will use two lane country road here. Bring it up. Bring it back down just a little bit. Get this road in here. Now we're going to have to make a connection here. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm just going to bring this back down. Let's go to like a top overview to kind of see where we want to go. And let's come down here just so we can start to see our heights. I think that that will work. We bring that up to there, make that fill. Yep, that'll work. I, I don't like what that's doing. So let's grab that and then let's reestablish this road connection here. Like that. Connect that in there. That does not need to be a bridge. Um, and now we need a connection into here. So let's just kind of branch off here. Keep that nice and flat. Curve this down. And then we can make a connection in right there. So that will allow all of those movements. And then we can come in here with the correct brush this time. Smooth all that out. And then we can come through here and let's change this back down to country road. And I would love to move this back. I don't know if I'll be able to though. Does that make this look weird? I mean, this is certainly not okay. So let's make that fairly level. Back that off. And then it can start to dip down right there. And that can connect into there. And then we can go ahead and upgrade this back down to Country Road. Just kind of tighten it up a little bit. Okay, so that now functions. Now granted, they're going in this way, which is not what we want them to do. We're gonna add an interchange in right here. And in order to do that, we need to rework this road. So let's back this out. Gotta connect that up, because we gotta walk these back one at a time. 
Let's back that out. And now we're going to put an interchange in here somewhere. So let's uh, let's just extend this road generally in the direction that it's going to go. It's going to cut right through here. Spin those around. Okay, and now we essentially need the same thing that we did here, but right here. So let's get our two lane. Bring it up, bring it back down just a little bit. Let's get that to cross right about there. Yep, that lines up pretty well. Let's grab this. Let's see, if I were to just connect that there, that's going to do a whole lot of weird stuff. Um, but I think, I think we can make it work. We can, I just don't know how yet. Let's get that to snap. Bring it back down to ground. Like that. So that's going to cross over. We can easily make a connection in there. Um, we do need a connection here. So let's grab this. Just kind of bring that off. Let's add that in. Let's make a nice gentle curve. Work our way down and then merge that in. That is pretty steep. It's actually a much bigger uh, drop in elevation than I realized. That looks okay. I mean, it's workable at the very least. And then let's smooth that out. And then this will be our connection into Hive. So let's take this, let's connect that into there. Make it a nice smooth connection, height-wise. We will adjust that, let's come through here, just continue to improve on this. And then this is just a mess. Um, I'm okay with that. Um, and then I think if we come in here, I'm also okay with that. Let's back that out. Add a little straight road in here. And then we can make that connection. And then if we come in here, this is four lane. So let's upgrade that. And then we want bus lanes on all of that because that's going to be used. And then let's also upgrade this road. And that will be where the trucks come in. Yeah. And then we'll have to reroute those, those roads in there. Um, and then why don't we, let's also upgrade. Why won't it let me upgrade this section? Interesting. So let's see if I were to grab this, bring that up to there. And then if I go over to the, uh, large country road for this side, Yeah, 
it really doesn't like that for some reason. Oh, it's probably the signals. Let's get rid of those and let's see now if this will work. It will. Okay. Cool. So we can get that in there. Uh, that looks terrible. So let's redo that on this side. Much better. Then this side also looks terrible. So let's grab that. Let's pull that down to there. And then if we upgrade this section to... Nope. Not the whole thing. Buildable road. So then that'll come down to there. The large country road. And then it will kind of do its own thing. Uh, with regard to the interchange. But I think that that'll work. So let's smooth that out. So that comes down to here. And now we just need a connection back into the highway. So let's do that. Let's grab this. Let's see, where do I want this to be? Let's put it, let's put it right about here. Does that give me enough space to get up there? I do not know. Kind of think no. I'm kind of thinking no. Let's back that out just a little bit further. To about here. And then let's go to our top overview. And let's start to make our climb. Connect that in there. That will be fill. Yep, and then that looks good. Let's check our lines. Yeah, so the... Yep, so which lines are those? There's a bus line. Oh, running to, yeah, to Twickenham because I disconnected that all together. That's fine. Um, but the line that I was mainly concerned about was that crude line, which now has, has to kind of do a weird like dog leg to get through here, but that's okay. Um, they are not using the road that I want them to. So let's fix that. And then this bus stop here. I think we're going to shift that. To be here. So let's come in here. Uh, this is the counterclockwise, so after Hive Transfer, it's going to Park, and then to Main. Let's eliminate both of those stops. And let's add Queens Road. And then if we come in here, after Albert, it's going to Main, and then Park. Let's eliminate both of those, and add that in as a stop. And then we can eliminate both of these bus routes, and then we can actually add in probably like a little bus route here. Although, yeah, this is not being served, so we'll have to see where they expand um, to be able to get that in there. But I think for now, that's okay. Now what I do want to do is add in some waypoints here because I want uh, our truck route, our Hythe crude. So Hythe waypoint one. Yeah, okay, so that's that. So after Twickenham sidings, come here, and then after Lower Hythe, exit that way. And that'll keep them on this main road with bus, uh, with bus lanes. Yeah, and that looks good. Okay, so that is functioning, and we've essentially done the most complicated portions of what we were gonna do. This interchange, I mean, crossing this rail wasn't that bad, but then this whole thing here. So now it should be pretty straightforward um, to be able to get down here. Now, this is owned by Hive, so I wanna be able to connect up to here. 
I think the way that we're going to do it, I kind of see like a low point right here. So I'm just going to smooth that out a little bit. And then we're going to come in here with our, with our paint tools. And we're going to kind of clean that up so that we can add in an Acrade crossing here. See how that looks for height. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Um, and then we can actually just kind of meander this road around here. Just connect up into there. Smooth that out. Um, and then this will allow us to connect up into here. Now we're going to have to eliminate all of this. And then I think what we'll do is we'll bring this road kind of around the back. And then we'll connect that into there. So now it still is connected up. It's just kind of doing its own thing. And then as far as this is concerned, um, I think what we'll do is we will eliminate that. Ooh, that's a mainline connection, interesting. between Carl Shelton and Hive. Okay, so that's that's an issue. Um, for now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna meander the road down the coast here. And this will be their new kind of mainline connection. Is that not fixed? Town authorities complain interrupted street connections. Carl Shelton and Hive. 27% over length. How is that slower? I am confused. Let's see if I hook that back up. Do they still complain? I am genuinely confused as to how that is slower. Okay, well, what if I straighten it out? Because I, I cannot have the connection that they want right now. I do not plan on making that connection, at least not right now. Um, I'm sure down the line we'll pretty much have highways going every which way. How is that slower? 26%. Well, that's frustrating. Okay, I guess we're going to have to make a connection here. Just because they they obviously want to come in this way. Man, that is bizarre. I feel like, if anything, this would be shorter. I don't know. If anybody knows in the comments what's going on with that, I genuinely do not know. But anyway, they're going to continue to get angry because we're going to uh, rip some stuff out. Oh, and then that was a connection too. Alright, well let's back this out. Um, so if that's a connection that we need to make, we're going we're gonna to put a rotary here and then that is going to serve um, our needs. Alright, let's clean up whatever whatever is going on here. 
this, this whole thing is a mess. All right, so let's change this um, to have bus lanes. This is gonna be the kind of main road through here. And then this is going to switch over to be this here. Um, and then let's figure out what we got going on here as far as these connections. So I like that. That's a good connection. I'm going to curve this in here. make that connection and then I wonder can I lock these so that they don't mess with them yeah I think I think that will work okay and now we definitely want a more modern bridge here so let's delete that let's come in here with our nice road And let's change that to that. I like that. I like the pillar spacing. Looks good. Um, and then let's upgrade that as well. And then we're going to put a rotary here. Let's come in here. Let's just generally smooth that out. Okay. And now we need a rotary. So let's just kind of make this as best as we can. Yeah, that actually looks pretty good, but it's not flat. Damn. Devastating. Okay, so let's grab this height. Let's flatten out a big chunk, and then let's do it again. Why? Why are you doing this to me? It just looks so good. Let's try that again. So let's bring that off to here. That looks pretty good. It's a little egg shaped, but we can we can deal with that. Okay. So now, what connections do we need to make? We need to make this connection, which I'm just going to make with a country road, considering that's what it was. And that's not the main project that we're working on today. Um, but the big connections that we're going to make, back this out, are these connections. So let's grab our two lane. And I really want this to connect right at the kind of the apex of this whole thing here. Interesting. And that actually wants to tunnel. I'm thinking no. I'm thinking no tunnel. grab this mirror it as best as we can connect that up a little bit of deviation is okay let's kind of smooth this out
Okay, so that's connected back up. And now Twickenham or Karshalton or whatever place this is, is demanding their connection here. So we're going to have to give it to them, unfortunately. Not really sure why, but it's what they want. So it's what they're going to get. Let's back that out. Oh wait, and now they now they don't mind. There are no warnings. Okay, well then, if they don't mind, they're not getting it. Uh, but what I am going to do, though, is this is going to be the service road. For this facility. Because again, people have to work here. So, considering people have to work here, I will give them a road. Let's bring it out to there, and then let's take this and connect that into there. Smooth all this out. Okay, perfect. So, let's check our lines. They function, and one thing that I completely forgot to do was add in bus lanes. So let's get some bus lanes on here, on the roundabout, and on all of these. So we'll just run our way back here, adding in the bus lanes. This does not get bus lanes because that is two-way, but all of this highway does. Just like that. And then let's check to make sure that everything is locked, that we want to be locked. Um, I'm going to lock this. I'm going to lock this. All the interchange stuff gets locked. Um, and then I'm thinking that I'm going to lock this whole road as well. Okay, perfect. And now, just to celebrate, let's come in here to this bus route and let's replace these with faster buses, the fastest that we have. Let's make sure that this has bus lanes because it needs them. Not sure how it didn't. Okay, perfect. And now we can let this run and there's a lot, I mean, that was a long time paused uh, for this game. But we, it was it was pretty necessary just because, you know, we were just moving so much stuff around. Anyway, guys, I think this is going to bring us to the end of this episode. We are just about out of time. If you guys made it this far and you enjoyed it, definitely consider liking and commenting on the video. Let me know things you want me to do in the future. Any uh, tips and tricks for the game. Anything that you've seen along the way that I may have messed up that I should do differently. Uh, consider subscribing to the channel to stay up to date on this series as well as others. Tell your friends about the channel, really trying to grow it. So, you know, if you guys know anybody who likes uh, these types of games, either this or the Timberborn playthrough, definitely let them know. And uh, if you guys are willing um, and able and would like to support the channel further, definitely check out my Patreon. Uh, you can get access to all my save files. Uh, I am working on getting a uh, Discord up and running so that we can all chat together, you know, about uh, various games that we all like to play. So that that will not be a uh, that won't be a Patreon thing. That'll just be for everybody. So until the next episode, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.